Hey guys, welcome back to another how to in Excel. This is going to be a really short video just because when I was beginning in business, these were this is a sim pretty simple concept, but what I wanted to show you was is how I was coming up with this this margin number. So basically margin is your profit divided by the sale price of which you're at which you're going to uh, sell your product at and then also to get your profit you're going to take what your sale price is minus your cost of goods sold or basically your costs so just to go through what these columns are here's your product the sale price these are pretty self-explanatory, but it it definitely requires an explanation just to make sure we're all on the same page. Sale price is what we're selling it to the customer at. The cost of goods sold, or the cost is what money you paid to have that piece manufactured, or how much cost you have built into each product over on the left-hand side here, what it costs to basically make this product whether that is the the materials that go into it, the flavoring, the packaging, the labeling on the outside of the package, whatever. Whatever costs make up this entire, uh, this product line is what we're calling the, the cost. And the profit is basically what your sales price is minus your cost. And then that's how much profit you're going to gain every time you sell one item. Margin, depending on what your sales sales objectives are, um, good rule of thumb is to make sure that you're around 30% or above. But again, depending on the product and depending on how much volume you have and how much wiggle room you want to have negotiating with your customer, that's another thing that you would, at least in the business sense, these are things that you want to make sure that you focus on. And obviously this is this is contingent on what your business your business model and also what your on what your sales objectives are because obviously oh made that way too big obviously if say if your if your costs are more than your sales price say it's $21 you get a negative 2% margin. So basically, your costs versus your sales price are going to e yield a negative profit. So you're losing money every time you sell one of those items, which ends up being a negative margin. So this is just something simple that I kind of wanted to go ahead and go through real fast for you, but just so you guys understand and so you have a firm grasp on it. Again, thank you for uh, taking the time to look at these videos. Uh, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel.